everybody. I just wanted to show this new BTI gauge for Motec M1s uh, that was recently created. And so far, um, I've been super happy with it. Um, while it's not what I would say 100% perfect, it is leaps and bounds better than anything you can get at anywhere near the price point that it comes in at $375. Even if it was $500, it would be leaps and bounds better than anything you could get at that price point. So I just wanted to kind of go over it real quick and show you some of the features of it. And uh, so I'll start, every screen is, pro is programmable. You have options of how you set up the screens and you get, I believe, 12 screens. And so this is kind of how I've got it set up and you could set it up however you see fit. So the first screen is gonna have AFR and map and it's all just current so as the car's running, you can see it kind of, it moves with the, and then the next screen I've got is going to be basically just boost stuff. So it's got a peak hold that's down on the bottom, and then the target boost, and then the current boost that's going on. So if I, you know, so now I peak hold it at 0.3. And you can do both of these in KPA or PSI. So, which is nice because you know, all the Motec stuff is all KPA, Celsius, Lamba. Um, and for me personally, I don't. Reconcile, I don't recognize those values, but I recognize Fahrenheit and AFR numbers and PSI. So it was nice that the gauge does all of the conversions for you so you don't have to do the conversions in your head yourself. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show that was really cool about this is so the target, like one of the cool features of Motec is you can use a switch, a trim pot, and you can adjust values. So this thing will adjust. So as I turn my trim pot here, so this is one of my pump gas settings and as I move to my pump gas setting, this one is gonna be a pump gas setting with methanol. And then as I keep going, you'll see that the targets change every time I flip my trim pot to a different setting. So that's really cool. And another thing to point out, and you can't do this in the garage, but you can do it while driving, is like when you're running a methanol setting, it's gonna have the target boost at the setting with the methanol disconnected and then once you get into the stage where the methanol is then considered active so in, in, in Motec there's going to be certain criteria that you have to meet in order for the the methanol in order to go act to be activated and once that does the target boost will automatically change and then once you get out of the the criteria for the for the methanol to be active it will then drop back to its to its non-active target so this setting is just uh, AFR versus AFR target. And again, you could set that up with Lamba and Lamba target if you wanted to as well. This is everything to do with fuel. So fuel PSI, injector duty, ethanol percentage. I've got good E85 here in Oregon. Actually it's 85. Here's just some temperature stuff. So intake temperature, oil temperature, which is I currently, I don't have an oil temperature gauge, so it's just breeding a baseline. It's not actually working. And then coolant temperature. This is knock. So it's got individual cylinder knock. Oops, that's the setup screen. Wheel speed, I have one of my wheel speed sensors disconnected so I could run my flex fuel off of it. So that's why you get that weird value on the, on the right sensor. All the rest of them were perfect, and you can see them as you drive. They, they, uh, change. So gear is always, this is fun. So it's a default value on gear uh, until you're actually moving. And then once you're moving, it's correct. And then uh, this is this just so happens that it's seen the right front wheel sensor as the sensor for this, so this particular screen. And that, since my mind disconnected, that's why it's a little off. Throttle percentage pretty self-explanatory. Injector duty cycle. This is a new screen that he created once the update for MoTeC happened, which is pretty awesome. So it shows horsepower and torque at any given point in time. That's, uh, and then this is kind of an everything screen. So uh, it has, you know, map, fuel pressure, AFR, ethanol sensor, coolant temperature, so just kind of a cool, there it goes, and then back to the main screen. 
So once again, another, like I was saying, so let's go to long, this. So say you didn't want AFR on target, say you wanted Lomba on target. Now you can have Lomba on target. So it's nice that it does the conversions already for you so that you don't have to, you know, try and think in your head if it's not, you know, if you think in Lomba and you're and it's an AFR, then you have to think, you know, how do I convert that to Lomba? And the, the other way around, if you think in AFR like I do. So that's basically the gauge. And again, at 375 bucks, it is an unbelievable uh, value for money, I think, especially when you're talking that the next step up for Motec is one of Motec's screens, which, you know, you're well into the like 1500 to 2000 by the time you start getting into those screens. So that is it, a BTI gauge for Motec M1. Thanks.